It's time to take back my crown. I'm the best AI video generator now. No, my friend, I'm the best. Your time is over now. Kling just released its newest AI model, and this might be the best AI generator so far. It's going to surpass the VO3 quality and accuracy. This is not a promotional video to promote Kling AI or VO3. I'm just going to give you my honest review about this new model. So let's make some insanely complex generation and see how good this AI model is. As they have mentioned, this chart, this AI model is better than VO3 and Cdance 1.0. The only way to find out is to compare these two. These are some generations that have done with this new model. The one that caught my eye is this one. On this video, the detail of this girl's face is so insane that we can even say that it's an AI generated. It's so realistic. And this video is also amazing. And if you check the prompt, it's not that complicated. They have just add all the information and that's all. This model can be applied to image to text feature as well. For example, this image of a skateboard has turned into a stunning video with a simple one sentence prompt. Okay, so I have several prompts. So let's generate some scenes and compare those with VO3 and see which model is the best. If you go to their main website, you can get access to this new model. The first scene I'm gonna create is this one. A knight standing on a cliff as a colossal dragon emerges from the misty valley below, wings unfolding to block out the sun. I'm just gonna use this as the prompt, no more details. Make sure to select the Kling 2.5 Turbo as the AI model for this generation. And let's turn on the sound effects as well. We can make either 5 second or 10 second videos. Let's go with 10 seconds and one output is enough and let's generate the video. As you can see here, it's going to take around 5 minutes to complete this video. While this video is generating, let's go to VO3 and use the same prompt to generate a new video. I must say that the VO3 is still faster than Kling Turbo. However, let's check these two videos and see the quality. Okay, when you compare the audio quality, I think VO3 has done a great job, but in terms of the video quality and details, I think Kling 2.5 is on a next level. If you check these two dragons, you can clearly understand that the Kling video is realistic, and it looks like the dragon from Game of Thrones. Before going into conclusions, let's try several generations. This time, I'm going to create a cinematic movie scene. Let's use this detailed prompt for this generation. And this time, I'm going to turn on the sound effects and let's describe what background sound we need for this generation. I'm gonna add this prompt this. I have explained all the sound effects in this prompt. And as the background music, let's add tense and cinematic music. I'm gonna keep the duration as 10 seconds and the aspect ratio as horizontal. And while this video is generating, I'm gonna copy this exact prompt to VO3 as well. Okay, sound effects are actually perfect. I think it's because it explained it to this model. And this whole scene is really good. The way this ship moves is actually cool and the details are perfect. Now, let's check the VO3 video for this prompt. Okay, this is also good. Only bad thing about this scene is that it's not as tense as I expected. The ship is moving slowly without any action. However, the details, sound effects, and quality are still good. Let's try another prompt and move on to the image to video feature. So let's make a 3D animation scene. This is the prompt I'm gonna be using for this generation. The process is the same as before. This video is not bad, but I had high expectations for this. The panda is kind of ugly. Now let's check the VO3 video.
Okay, this panda looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, the quality is also good. But the problem is, there were some glitches at the end of the video, however, I think Kling 2.5 Turbo is at, same, at the same level as VO3, and it might be the best video generator so far. The thing is, with VO3 we can only generate 8 second videos, but with Kling we can generate 10 second videos. However, let's try the image to video feature as well. Now I have this image and I want to convert this into a video with this new AI model. Let's select this image to the, to the video feature, and just like we did before, I'm going to select Kling 2.5 Turbo. And as the prompt, I'm just going to type this, animate this image into a cinematic 3D scene. A rugged vehicle with oversized wheels drives downhill on a snowy mountain, snow spraying from the tires, icy rocks and frosted trees rushing past, dynamic camera angles, motion blur, and flowing snow create a thrilling downhill ride. And let's convert this into a video. While it's generating, let's go back to Vo3 and try this image with this same prompt. For that, you need to go with their frames to the video feature and upload the image to this place and copy that prompt we used to this text box and let's generate it as well. Honestly, the only difference I see is that the car drives in both directions in these two videos. Apart from that, the quality and details are the same. Now let's convert this image. It's similar to before, but this car is followed by some men on bikes. I'm going to upload this image as the first frame, and as the prompt, I'm going to simply type, the car is followed by some men on bikes, the car drives faster. And that's all. Let's generate the video. To be honest, both video has the same quality, I think even if they, they have mentioned that this Kling 2.5 Turbo is better than VO3. Now both of them are on the same level. If Google's VO3 doesn't update its AI model soon to a better version, it's going to be a problem for them. I was not a fan of Kling AI's previous model, but now I think this model is actually good in terms of quality and accuracy. So that's my honest review. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. I wish you the best of luck and I will see you guys in the next video.